The folks at Hughes Autoformers, the people that make the popular Power Watchdog line of RV and marine surge protection systems, have just come out with a new flagship model, and it's completely revamped. Is it worth it, though? Come along with us. I'll tell you all about it. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe this video. Here at mobilemusthave.com, we are changing things up a little bit at the tail end of 2024 and moving into 2025. And one thing we're gonna be doing is giving away quite a few products that we show as kind of featured new launch products here. We tend to get these samples and we don't always have a place to put them. So we said, you know what, we're gonna give them away. So make sure you like and subscribe in this channel. And in subsequent videos, Andy, my partner in crime, will be discussing discussing how this model right here, which is their flagship 50 amp model, will be given away to a lucky subscriber. We're gonna be providing chapter links below so you can skip ahead as needed, but uh, I wanna show you kind of the old flagship model that's right here, and this is actually the unit that came out of my RV and that is still in service today. It's been with me for over two years at this point, and as you can tell, they kind of largely look the same, even kind of the the plastic quality, the fit and finish, and I gotta be honest, I'm not very nice to this thing. So it is a testament to just overall, before we get into the new model, how the build quality of the Hughes Autoformer Power Watchdogs really is second to none. As part of what we do at mobilemusthave.com, we look at a lot of products, and we also look at a lot of products that look really nice on the outside, specifically a lot of the stuff that's made in China and that you see on Amazon. But when we crack that case and we start trying to look at, you know, is this thing built to UL specifications? We start to see some pretty scary stuff, especially in the surge protection world. Um, improperly gauged wires, badly designed circuitry, components that really are not designed for the US electrical market. It is kind of surprising how bad uh, a, a unit can be and be called a surge protector and somehow make its way onto Amazon. So please be careful and I highly recommend you go with a name brand unit, even if it's not Power Watchdog. So let's get into this new model and kind of talk about whether it's worth it. To be honest with you, when I started and I heard about this and I started looking at the marketing material, I had a feeling that I probably wasn't going to upgrade my existing unit in my RV. A part of that was because I have a Victron power management system that gives me a lot of the remote management capabilities that you'll see this thing can do. And partly it was just like, well, it's kind of the same thing. So why? I'm proud to say that after I explain some of the features that I'll show you uh, in a minute, I actually think I will be upgrading my RV to one of these. And let me tell you why. One of the big differences with this new model is they've kind of changed around the form factor and they've given you this little door here that is actually where you put your 50 amp plug or 30 amp if you're looking at a 30 amp model uh, that will feed out to your coach. And I didn't really think about it that much when I was looking at the pictures. Um, to be honest, when I looked at the pictures, this looked a lot wider and larger than the unit I already had. So I was a little worried that it was going to be bigger. And I was like, I don't really like bigger because I have limited space. But going into the dimensions of kind of what we see here, the old unit was around five and a half inches, kind of width wise by about eight and a half or so. And I'm going, I'm kind of rounding up uh, on the tall side and around four inches on kind of the, the width there. Um, if we look at the this unit, um, it's, you know, five and three quarters. So it's basically the same size, maybe a quarter to a half inch if you, you know, kind of count these screw bump outs, very similar in size. And yes, it's 10 inches, so it's taller in this direction, but because you're not dealing with this pigtail on the exit side, it's actually quite a bit smaller. Um, I wasn't really factoring that in when I looked. I mean, this is 18 inches plus another, this is like 30 inches long, the old model. And the new one's coming in at about 18 to 20. So considerably smaller. And it's actually, it's actually smaller on the height as well. This one's less than four inches um, height being on my table right now. Um, I guess that would be width or depth. 
um, here. So all in all, while it may look bigger in some of the marketing pictures, they've actually slimmed the unit down. And because you're not dealing with that pigtail coming out the bottom, um, it's a lot smaller to store. So we hinted about some of the feature improvements of the new Power Watchdog. Um, let's talk about what it definitely has um, that the old one had. So this has the emergency power off system where if it detects something um, in the power, you're going to have your EPO shut off for emergency power disconnect. That's a nice feature. It also has the serviceable components in here. If you were to experience a large surge, you can replace that module for you know about $30. And they will actually replace it for free in the first couple of years during the warranty period. I believe it's for the first two years. Um, so that's a really nice touch. You get that with both the old and the new models. Both units conform to UL standards. We'll put the specific UL standards in the listing page. And both units have Bluetooth, meaning that you can use an app, which we'll show you there, to monitor the systems. I can't stress how important this app is when you're diagnosing power problems at a campground or when something changes with your power consumption or what's going on. I love using this app. When you get into understanding how RV power works, you'll understand that there's two kind of legs or input power points that share a neutral and the balance of those can impact kind of how your RV operates. Now with both devices, you have your doggy face here that is your watchdog. And if this is white, you're going to be fine and safe. And if it's red, you're gonna get an error code here and you'll have a list of what that means right on the side of the device, or you can just open up your app and it's going to tell you from there. You also have a nice warning light here right on the front of actually both devices that tells you when you have a, um, a, a, a missing neutral, which can be very, very dangerous in an RV park. So they wanna put a specific light there as well because it also with a missing neutral can impact how the device sees other error codes. So it's sort of like a fail safe to say, hey, there's something wrong with the neutral. You know, make sure you service this before you plug in your RV. That's really where a lot of the similarities kind of start to stop. And you start to see the new model really come away with some really interesting features. There's kind of three big things that I want to tell you about that really separates the new generation or generation two from generation one. The first one, as we talked about briefly in the beginning, big differentiator is the form factor. So what we've got here is our power input port is now covered and protected in a more weatherproof area. So that's gonna give us a bit of a better uh, situation between where our kind of RV contacts coming in from our RV and our street power are connecting together. They've done a really nice job here and there's a nice cover here that covers the plug to keep dust and other things out. And right here, it's kind of hard to tell, but they've actually installed a neoprene gasket here on the 50 amp plug to further insulate this and keep your contacts protected from the elements. Then one thing you've got here when this flips down is the power wires can exit from there, but you now have the ability to essentially put a very small or basic lock. I mean, you could just put a, it's got actually a pretty nice hole size in there. You could put a standard, you know, master or what not lock right here. And that's basically now locking the power protection system to the cable coming out of your RV. Um, now that's optional. You don't have to lock that, but it does give you an added way to lock the system up to keep thieves from kind of quickly stealing this or taking something else. Yeah, could they technically cut your main feed wire in? Yes, that's possible with really anything. And to combat that, they actually do have this secondary lock here. This is a locking point and Hughes has a cable lock that you can use to lock around the pedestal. If you zoom in on me close, check this out. If you flip this up, this little thing here, that's a light. <laughs> it's so smart. So basically when you're here and you're trying to connect this wire up and it's dark, you're like, oh, you've got now a light that's coming out of here for you to be able to look at what's going on with this plug. Now that light has come in so handy. It's actually helped me hook up my Bluetech water filter systems. Just having a little extra light out there has been great. I actually envision myself probably just leaving this shut and possibly leaving it locked and just using my power reel to put this in and just stowing this in front of my power reel and just leaving it as a single accessory so I don't have to continually pull it apart. Um, that was a little bit harder to do with this model because by the time I added in my power cord, which had another head 
going in the other direction, I was like 36 or 35 plus inches long. It was just too big to do anything other than like throw in a bay, which was really messy. This will actually fit um, much nicer in front of where my power reel is, allowing me to not have to disassemble this every time I move. But um, whatever your setup is, this new form factor, I'm really liking. The next major feature that this adds is Wi-Fi in addition to the Bluetooth. Now, if you're a mobile must-have customer and you have some of our Peplink or Roamlink products, you're traveling with a Wi-Fi system that is essentially always on, or at least always on when you're parked at camp. With a device like this, you can take advantage of that always on Wi-Fi system or if you're parking your RV at your house and you have Wi-Fi at the house, you could take advantage of that as well. I personally think you wanna have this connected to the Wi-Fi that you're always traveling with so you don't have to set it up more than once. By connecting the Hughes Autoformer to Wi-Fi, you're now opening up that 30 or 40 foot of range to anywhere in the world where you can access that information. What essentially happens is this device connects to the Wi-Fi in your RV, you know, through a Wi-Fi solution like ours, and then it connects to the Hughes cloud system that syncs the information on this device to the app. Now there's no, there's no fees for that. It's really nice that they've just opened that up to their customers and it allows you to see a bunch of information about what's going on inside of the, inside of the power system in your RV. It also does push notifications. So it will alert you if there's a substantial change in the power system and that is most important when you're not in the RV, you wanna know what's going on with your power. If you've got pets, if you've got, um, well, if you've got an RV that you care about and you wanna know when the power shut off and there could be problems ahead, your batteries are gonna go down, who knows what, having remote management and access to the power system is really key. In addition to the Wi-Fi system, Hughes Autoformers and the new Power Watchdog Gen 2 has added an, an additional feature, which is the ability to actually remotely turn off the power coming out from this device to the coach. Now, keep in mind, if you don't have a battery system in your RV, turning off the power could turn off the internet, which would remove your ability to access um, your device remotely to turn the power back on. So that's what that warning tells you. But for most folks who have house batteries and your internet is always on with your house batteries, simply turning off the AC input means that your internet will still work and then you can turn it on at a later point. Now for me, what I like to do because I have a lot of solar on my roof, is I can actually use that on off feature when I'm in uh, areas where I'm getting a lot of sunlight and I don't wanna use the park power, especially if I'm paying for it. And I actually just remotely turn on and off the power and rely on my solar instead. In addition to those major improvements of the new form factor, the Wi-Fi, and the ability to remotely power on and off the system, there's also a nice touch here. They've made the dog uh, LED here smaller. I didn't really think I cared that much um, until I opened up a campground in New Hampshire that has to be what's called dark sky compliant. Um, and that means that we need to keep our park nice and dark to be respectful for everybody who loves to look up at the sky and see all those beautiful stars. This puts off a lot less light now. They've kind of heard from customers that the white aspect of it was a bit much. And there's actually a feature inside the app where you can just turn off the light completely. So they've added in a, a relay or a way to turn on and off the light for an added benefit. I know some folks like to turn off the light um, as a theft deterrent. You know, I don't want to advertise that I have this nice expensive surge protector. So that is a nice feature they've added. Now I have to admit, I have left my power watchdog out on the pedestal uh, pretty much forever. And um, I wasn't even really aware that there was a potential that water could ingress into this system. But uh, Hughes does sell a, a bag for this for like really wet and clement weather to protect the system. There is a potential for water to ingress into the Gen 1 system. Um, and that would not be covered by the limited lifetime warranty if you have a an environmental issue. I think a lot of folks like me travel to where it's warm and maybe we're not seeing as much rain, which is why I haven't seen a problem. With the Gen 2 system, they have greatly improved the, the, uh, the weatherproofing in the system and that has done away with 
um, the weather bags and all those things. And they've basically said, this is um, going to be fine outside in whatever weather you throw at it. The Hughes Power Watchdog Gen 2 is in stock and shipping now. And for our members, this is eligible for your member discounts. So this is a way that you can save and pay for those membership dues every year. If you're not sure what our memberships are all about, you get upgraded shipping, you get points back towards future purchases, you get discounts on every purchase, you get access to our support forums, and you support mobile must have. There's a bunch more that you get, uh, especially if you're an internet uh, enthusiast, you get access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center and a bunch of other stuff. I highly recommend you check it out at membership.mobilemusthave.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Subscribe because we are going to be doing giveaways. I'm shipping this bad boy out to Andy right now so he can get it out into the wild and do some additional shorts to tell folks about the great features of this product. So subscribe and you know, you might be the one who ends up with this uh, guy after we're done with our video series. If you have any questions at all, you can reach out to us at info at mobilemusthave.com. Our phone number is always available at the top of the page at mobilemusthave.com. And you can always schedule a consultation with one of our experts if you don't want to wait on hold by going to talk.mobilemusthave.com to schedule a phone consultation to get all of your questions answered. Yes, we are a authorized dealer of Hughes, uh, so your warranty will be fully in effect and uh, you'll be supporting small businesses here in the US buying from us and not from some of those other big internet retailers. We appreciate everything that you are. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and we'll see you on the road.